In this problem, we've been asked to round these two numbers to the nearest hundredth. Whenever you're rounding, you want to find the place value that they tell you to round to. So in this case, since we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, we need to identify the number in the hundredth spot. The first number after the decimal is in the tenth spot. The second number is the hundredth place. So we need to draw a line after the nine. The nine's in our hundredth place. So the question you need to ask yourself is, does the number in the hundredth place stay the same, or does it round up? In order to tell whether to keep it the same or to round it up, you look at the number after it. So we need to look at this 4 here. And then when you're telling whether to round or not, if the number is 5 or greater, that means you need to round up. If it's 4 or less, that means you need to keep it the same. So since this is a 4 or less, that tells us that this 9 just stays the same. So our rounded answer would be 15.39. Let's do another one. The number after the decimal is the tenth place. So here the hundredth place is our two. So draw a line after the two. So the question we're asking is does this stay a two or do I round it up to a three? In order to tell, I look at the number after it. This number is five or greater, it's a seven. So that tells me that I need to round this two up to a three. So this rounded answer would be eight point six three.